into today's trading idea, we start with the first one will be MBM uh, resource. So one, the reason why we like the stock, um, if you look the long term trend, the stock is pretty much on the uptrend. So I'm using this uh, 13, 33 and 88 the moving average, you are seeing a kind of reaction within this particular level as the stock keeping their uptrend pretty much intact. So the recent um, pullback or minor correction was pretty much um, a consolidation within this so-called bullish flag. So yesterday breakout is actually quite interesting. Um, the breakout, however, is not followed by significantly large uh, or higher trading volume, <clears throat> but there are slight improvement. So what makes it interesting how the stock is actually bouncing off the main, uh, critical, I would say, resistant trading support level. If you do note on your left here, the volume profile a little bit on the thicker side, suggesting there's a plenty of accumulation within this particular zone. We are seeing a rejection within 61 point Fibonacci as for the resistant thing to support level uh, for ringgit and 30 cent region and the 88 day moving average and another one thing um i think if you look on the structure for the trend you are seeing a new higher low structure but on the um okay indicator at the lower here uh, at the bottom panel <clears throat> It actually creating a lower low structure so this is actually a classic hidden bullish divergent so because of that we're expecting the uptrend to continue and last but not least momentum actually stage a breakout move as per yesterday so the next technical resistance will be at 4.79 and 5.5.19 uh, while the color will be below 48 20 cent in terms of recent reward ratio is quite attractive uh, one to three 5.5 percent downside risk and a 16% upside potential. Quan, we are using uh, Quan style momentum with the Quan score also high at 7.75. Moving on, we have um, Bumi Amada, um, initially our buy on 26th of January, and the stock is actually gained, um, what we call it, 8.9%, fair shot to hit our, uh, Actually, it hit our second target at 60 cent. Uh, what we see is a quite sharp decline, I think, of both of the earnings, but the support uh, remain intact, and particularly within at 51 and a half cent. So the new high low structure was formed for the stock, and we're expecting um, the, with the stronger baseline, we're expecting the current uptrend to continue. If you refer to Quan, uh, Quan style using value, Quan score is high at 8.8. .8. So because of that, we think there's a decent chance for the trend to continue to trade higher. So we revise um, our uh, target, we retreat our buy uh, with a new and high target 62 cent and 68 cent. With the cut loss, it's actually retained the same at 51.5 cent. Risk to reward ratio is 2.3, which means 8.8% 8 .8 downside risk and 20% upside potential. All right, last but not least, we have HSS Engineer. Also, our earlier buy on 3rd January, the stock gained about 17.7%. Um, to, uh, to pick at 1.820 cent but still fair short of our second target at 1.825 cent so regardless the subsequent consolidation saw the stock is actually forming a kind of like triangle in this case it's actually a smaller triangle so a small triangle is actually a pendant pattern a pendant pattern often occur during the uptrend movement so we think this so called consolidation has ended but the us the stock create a breakout move last monday followed by another gain yesterday. So you are seeing also a breakout move in RSI, suggesting that the momentum is actually improving. The trend also has such inside the positive theory, um, which means the up cycle actually has begun. So because of that, we're expecting the uptrend to continue. We are reiterating our buy with the new and higher target at two ringgit, eh, sorry, one ringgit 20 cent and one ringgit 34 cent, while the color will be below one ringgit and one cent.